My name is Andre Elizondo with Datadog, and today I'd like to show you how we can use the auto discovery feature in Datadog to automatically pull in your Kubernetes labels and apply those as Datadog tags. This may be incredibly valuable if you store context in those labels or if you're using the labels that are automatically applied by your cloud provider. So something like AKS, EKS, or GKE. Or if you're using something like Helm, in which you might want to track down the specific chart name and version that was used to make a deployment. For this example, I have a Helm chart configured to deploy Nginx. As part of my chart, I'm applying a pod label of helm.sh slash chart with the current chart name and the current chart version. I'm also configuring the Datadog in integration so that it can capture some Nginx metrics here. Now, in order for the Datadog agent to know which pod labels to pull out, I simply need to configure that on the agent. If you're using something like Helm to deploy the agent, this is really easy. All I need to do is modify my values file and tell the Datadog agent which pod labels are important to me. So in this case, I'm capturing the helm.sh slash chart label, and I'm converting that into a Datadog tag of kube helm chart. You can see that this allows me to capture my Nginx metrics, but also use those custom labels as tags on those metrics. So for example, if I wanted to go ahead and update the version of my chart here, I simply need to modify my Helm deployment, and that context should be automatically captured on the Datadog side when we realize that that label has changed. Now we can see that the Datadog agent has identified the new set of containers have been deployed with a new Helm chart applied to that label. Again, this can help me to understand and maybe trace down which specific Helm chart might have made a deployment here and help me to understand if that was part of an intentional deployment or if somebody just made a mistake. I can do the same thing here with Kubernetes node labels as well. The process is fairly similar. So, if, for example, I had a node label on one of my nodes for the current data center that that node was in, so in this case, I have my node labeled as data center equals US. Now, if I want to capture that label in Datadog, the process is fairly similar. Again, if I'm using Helm, the process is incredibly easy to get started. I simply need to modify my values file to tell the Datadog agent which node labels I want to pull in. So in this case, I'll modify the node labels as tags and define the data center tag. Again, I have the option to convert that label into a different tag name. So in this case, I'll go ahead and modify that to kube data center. Let me go ahead and update my Datadog agent version. Now I'll go ahead and modify one of my graphs to use that new label that we've added here. Now we can see 
that the Datadog agent has identified a specific node label and converted that as a tag on this metric. Again, this can help me to better understand my clusters and help me to identify any additional context that might be added as labels, whether those are pod labels or node labels. I would highly encourage you to read up more on what else you can do in Kubernetes, especially with all the features in auto discovery.